Good morning and happy Saturday. It's the 5th of December and it's Vlogmas Day 6. I hope you're all doing really well and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. It is another busy work day for me and I tell you what, this morning I'm really feeling the effects of having a very busy week. So I'm kind of on struggle street this morning but I think I'll be okay once I sort of get started into the day. So. Fingers crossed I last. I'm trying to make myself feel a little bit better by getting into the festive spirit. So I've just popped on a Christmas scrunchie that one of my workmates made for me last year. And the other day I rediscovered my lovely box full of Christmas earrings. So I'm going to pick out uh, a pair to wear. Oh, my little Santa brooch. He's so cute. Christmas tree earrings. I think I got these last year. I can't quite remember. And I also think I got these last year too. They're our Mickey and Minnie earrings. Very cute. And I also have a whole heap of little mini earrings on this card as well. Oh, and these ones. Little dangly Santa earrings. These are very cute. Oh, and then another brooch. It says Baking Spirits Bright. <laughs> I love it. We might wear these little Santa ones, I think, today. There we go. Look. Look how sweet he is. Nice. Okay. Feeling a little bit happier. A little bit more cheerful and festive. Now just to have a good day at work. Fingers crossed. Send all the good vibes into the universe, please. <sighs> anyway. Let's go have a good day at work. And I will see you later on this afternoon. Okay, my day is over. Um, I've been home from work for um, a couple of hours now. Um, it is my niece Amelia's sixth birthday today. And we've just had everyone over for a birthday dinner, which was really nice. Had lots of auntie cuddles and hugs and laughs and chats with all of the kids. So um, it's always nice. But I tell you what. I am so tired. Oh my gosh. Today wasn't as busy as a Saturday can be at work, but um, it still it still takes a lot out of you. <laughs> I just really don't want to do anything. But what we do need to do is the advent calendar. <gasps> Did I just make a yawn? Sorry if I did. We are up to day five. Day five. I really hope it's a tea that I could put milk in. I just really want a nice comforting tea tonight. We are on day five, right? Yes, day five. Okay. What is it? Ooh, this one looks a bit exotic. Tropical lemongrass. Wow. Smells delightful. Oh, it smells like a candle. <laughs> like a fresh, I don't know, <laughs> just a nice, lovely, fresh candle. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like a candle. Alright, let's see what is in tropical lemongrass. It has organic lemongrass herbal tea with peppermint, hibiscus, rose hip, chamomile, and apple. I think it's the apple. And the hibiscus that's making it candle like. Hmm, I'm very interested in what this is going to taste like. It's not a black tea. I was hoping for a black tea, but never mind. It is what it is. Let's go make this little beauty up and we'll discuss. Oh, I'm up very high, aren't I? Oh, hang on a second. I got a new computer chair, so now I sort of sit higher than I usually do. Oh, that's better. Hi. Today's tea is being brewed in my Santa head mug. <laughs> How cute is he? Oh, I'm pretty sure I got this mug. It was either last year or the year before I got it from Spotlight. 
and I just thought he was the cutest thing. Give it a jiggle, get all the flavors mingling in that hot water. So it's tropical lemongrass, so I'm assuming it's going to taste lemony. It tastes a little bit of apple and maybe a bit florally as well. Oh, it's a bit hot. Okay, I'm reserving judgment until I take a couple more sips, so bear with me. Oh, hot. Oh, I took a too big a gulp. Oh my gosh. Just burnt my tongue. You know when, like, you misjudge your gulp? Because it's so hot, I couldn't, like, swallow it <laughs> quickly. Oh. oh. My tongue's all burnt. From what I've tasted, it is quite nice. It is lemony. It is florally. And it has an apple sort of aftertaste to it. So... It's nice. This is one of those ones where one cup's enough. Oh, oh you know, good thing about burning my tongue, I can now drink it because it's my tongue's burnt and it doesn't taste hot anymore. It's a nice tea. It's it's nice and refreshing, but one cup's enough. Can you hear the rain falling outside? Doesn't that sound lovely? It was a really warm day today. It was really warm yesterday as well, so it's nice to hear the rain and have a little bit of a cool change come through. It feels really relaxing listening to the rain. It's making me feel a lot more sleepier than I am already. Hello puppy. Are you worried about the rain puppy? It's okay. Yeah. It's alright. He's here. Look. He's here. Look. Look. You say hello to everyone. You say hello. I think as I mentioned in um, a vlog a couple of days ago, you know when we're having that big storm, Charlie's not a fan of the rain. Um, he associates this the sound of the rain with thunder, and he doesn't like thunder. It's like um, it's like his kryptonite, uh, thunder and fireworks. Um, he just does not like them at all. He just gets a little bit unsure when it's raining. He just needs a little bit of reassurance and cuddles so there is something that i've been wanting to chat to you about even before vlogmas started my youtube channel hit a very big milestone it was either last week or the week before and it's just amazing that that it's actually happened my channel hit 40 000 subscribers and i don't know why <laughs> um it's just i would never have ever in my wildest dreams thought I'd ever have so many people subscribe to my channel. I remember when I first reached just 50 subscribers, I was like, oh my gosh, why are people <laughs> subscribing to my channel? And even since then, I'm still at a loss. But in saying that, I am so humbly grateful that I do have that many people subscribe to my channel and that I have such lovely, lovely subscribers and that you're all just so lovely and supportive and kind and encouraging and just, just absolutely amazing people and I'm just so lucky and grateful to have such a lovely audience watching me. So thank you very much for being such amazing people and for always making me feel, I don't know, that that there are like-minded people out in the world that think exactly the same things as me who are passionate about sewing and fabrics and quilting and sewing machines and threads and notions and all this other stuff like I always thought that I was the only one until I started my blog and my YouTube channel I discovered that there were so many other people out there that were exactly like me. It's just made me so much more confident in in owning the stuff that I love, like owning that what I do in this sewing room is valid and is amazing and is just the best thing ever. I read a quote on Instagram the other day. It said my soul is fed with needle and thread. I'm going to put that little quote down in the description box along with the person who, who said it um, or who came up with that quote because I can't quite remember at the moment. When I first read that quote, 
it just sort of sparked something in me. It just made me feel really emotional because my soul is fed with needle and thread. Just everything that comes with needle and thread just just feeds my soul and just makes me so happy. So to have other people out there that think that and understand that and engage with that quote in the same way I do is just amazing. Mm. I just had another sip of my tea. It tastes like a candle. It tastes like, you know what it tastes like. It tastes like a citronella candle. Oh my gosh, that's what it is. It's citronella. You know those candles that keep away the mosquitoes and bugs? That's what it smells and tastes like. Mm, not in like a strong way, but a really weak way. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one. Now that I've sort of put, you know, my finger on it, I'm, I'm going to leave it. Disappointingly, I'm going to end the vlog here as well. This week has just been so full on and I am tired. I have one more day of work tomorrow and then I have a couple of days off, which is nice. I'm going to have a nice big sleep in on Monday morning and just rest. That's what I need. But we got one more day. One day more. I always sing that to myself when I have one more day left of work. One day more. And then I go into the whole Lamey's song. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me today for whatever it was worth. As I've said so many times, I really do appreciate you just watching and joining me uh, for the day and just being such amazing people. So I will definitely see you again tomorrow for vlogmas day seven i hope you're all having a lovely weekend and i will see you again tomorrow bye bye